Hey gamers, ready to take your Nintendo Switch gaming to the next level right on your Android device? Imagine playing Zelda, Mario, or even Smash Bros. all in the palm of your hand. Sounds amazing, right? But here's the deal. I've tested every single emulator out there, from the promising to the downright disappointing. After all that testing, two contenders have emerged at the top, Citroen and Nushu. Now, the ultimate showdown begins. This video will be a total breakdown, from installation to setup, and yes, even real game tests. Which one delivers the best performance, smooth gameplay, and jaw-dropping visuals? Stick around as I break it all down and crown the best Nintendo Switch emulator for Android. Let's dive in. Let's start with installation. Both emulator installations are quite the same and easy. Citron is available on their website, and Git page on the other hand, NYU Shu can be found from official site. So download and install the APK of these emulator. After installation, open the app, you'll be greeted by the Nushu emulator's welcome screen. Click Get Started, and then grant the necessary permissions to allow notifications from the emulator. Okay, Citron is quite freight forward. At first, it displayed a disclaimer. With Nintendo's recent legal steps, everyone is understandably cautious. Interestingly, Citron doesn't ask for keys or a game directory up front, which is a slight change from Yuzu's setup. Now back to Nushu, there is lots to do. Next, the Nushu will prompt you to enter your production ID or product keys. Without these keys, you won't be able to run any games. Unfortunately, I can't provide direct links to these keys, as it would violate YouTube's community guidelines. Once you have your keys, select them from your file manager, and the emulator will confirm that they've been successfully installed. The emulator will then ask you to locate your games folder. Tap Add Games, then go to your file manager and navigate to your games folder. Once the folder is added, it will automatically detect and display the games in your library, and your games are displayed in the game list. To add games on Citroen, you need to go to the Settings option, then Manage Game Folder. Click on the plus icon and navigate to the folder where you saved Nintendo Switch games. Wait a minute, it's not showing any games. Let's restart the emulator. Ah, it says encryption keys are missing, so we'll need to add them manually. How? I found an option. Open Citron folder. There it is. We'll just drop the key files into the keys folder. Let's see if it recognizes the games now, and your games are displayed in the game list. But before we start playing, let's configure a few settings. Click on the gear icon in the bottom right corner, then select Advanced Settings, and open the General tab. I recommend turning off the Limit Speed option so the emulator can make use of your device's full resources. If you enable Docked Mode, it will increase the resolution but may reduce performance, so leave it disabled if your device isn't powerful enough. In the Graphics section, Set the CPU accuracy on normal. You can increase the resolution to 4x, but I suggest using your device's native resolution for smoother gameplay. Higher resolutions demand more power, so adjust according to your device's capability. You'll also have other options like DRAM, orientation, aspect ratio, and shaders, but I suggest leaving those as they are, as these settings vary from device to device. Play around with them to find what works best for you. Next, head back to the main settings menu, where you'll find an option to install custom GPU drivers. By default, it selects your device's GPU and you can install custom GPU for best performance. But for this video, I will try the default driver. Finally, let's dive into some gameplay with the Citroen and Nushu emulators. I tested a few games to compare their performance. The first game I tried was The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. As you know, this game is graphically demanding. Citroen managed to deliver 30 to 40 FPS with good graphics, whereas Nushu struggled a bit to run the game smoothly. Next, I tested Super Mario 3D. This time, the tables turned. Nushu's control system and overall performance were noticeably better than Citroen's. I also tried Hades, and both emulators struggled with stuttering during gameplay. However, other less demanding games ran quite well on both emulators, showing promising results. Since these are still under development, it can be assumed that they will be able to give very good performance in the future. Which one will you choose? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. It's an investment in more great content.